This is Code.org, and let's see what we're doing. Old school is new school. In developing their app, Sochi and Destiny, the successful entrepreneurs of Appley Ever After, I love that name, by the way, decided to use AI design that features old school television and static. I remember these. However, with users, however, with how users should, they struggle with how users should interact. That is where user stories come in and research. User stories just summarize from a customer or a user perspective, desired behavior. All right, I'm gonna hop over though to the good stuff, which is code. Create a function rotate dial that rotates the dial image element in the app. Okay, so first, what the heck is the dial image? I'm in design mode. If I hover over this and I find this super frustrating, I notice dial button. I'm like, what is dial image? If I drag this up, which students, I don't recommend doing, it's a pain to get it back to where it was, but I see now there is dial image right here. The reason I didn't see that before is this uh, tool here only is going to give me the ID of what is on the top, the thing that's at the very top of everything else. So even though dial image exists, my button, yes, it is transparent in the middle, is still going to be what shows here because this button is actually used for other functionality in this application. We use it for click event detecting and see this is why you shouldn't move it because you never get it back right regardless oh i know by heart now it's supposed to be seven okay regardless that's where that dial image is and we want to make it turn now first they're telling us uh we need this rotate dial method however parameter needed the degree of rotation so here's rotate dial method and here is the parameter now I wonder though, where is this called? What value are we passing? And that uh, right here, which it looks like it doesn't currently exist. So for now, I'm gonna just put in a number and I could set this to one number every time, but to make it a bit fun, I'm gonna throw in a random math.random and oh nope let's actually just use random number that will be easier for us um i'm gonna leave it now that let's do 10 to uh 100 sure right and you can have this be whatever you want you could have it be one set number because i don't see anywhere where they require a number a random uh standard number regardless boom we have that now let's get to this method what we need to do is add as it says here add an argument containing the degree of rotation to the global variable dial rotation what's a global variable that just means it's accessible everywhere here's our global variable dial rotation it's set to equal what they're trying to say here is hey every time the button this function runs you want that global variable dial rotation to be updated what do you want it updated to you want it to be equal to its previous value plus the new amount of rotation so it seems like it's actually moving that's what this complicated thing says well what is the new amount of rotation that's going to be represented by random number because every time we call this method rotate dial random rotation here I mean, random rotation will be the new amount of rotation. And so we want to keep track of that new amount of rotation, add it to the old amount so we can move appropriately. So to do that, I'm headed over to variables and I'm just going to grab an equals and it doesn't, we can put this below here. Um, it will impact how it appears at first, but it's kind of your preference because it should function uh, either way. But I have seen students prefer to have it here. Either way, I am fine with that. Bloop, bloop. There's more than one way to be right. Now, let's see. Oh, we want to use the existing global variable, and it has to be exact. So I'm actually going to do Control-C or Command-C if you're on a Mac. Dial rotation. Command-C, Control-C, dial rotation. Again, exactly this is going to be equal to dial rotation plus what? Random rotation. Bam. So now, every time this runs, it will, the computer's going to say, what? Oh, dial rotation it has a new value. What is it? Dial rotation's old value plus random rotation. All right. Now, some fancy students will do something that says, ah, let's leave it at that. If there's a fancy way to do this, I like how I do it here. Another way to write this would be plus equals random rotation. Bloop, bloop. This line's the same as that. That being said, I like how I had it. 
Boom. Okay, now we need to set the style. What's that style? It is right here. Now the element, like I've said previously, and we've discussed, and I know this is a lot to keep track of, is the dial image. So the element is going to be in quotes. Now, what's weird about that is the element needs to be in quotes. However, this string value here cannot be in quotes. It's just rotation string. What the heck? Why? Because dial image is the ID of the element, right? It is just a string value. This rotation string is also a string value, but it's a variable. So to represent a variable, we just write the variable's name. Since dial image is itself the string, we have to write it in quotes. This would be the same as me saying if we got rid of rotation string, well, then we would have to have this in quotes as well down here to use it. That being said, I don't want to do that. All right, this is looking all good. Please use your resources too. If you're confused, this could be helpful as well. Let's see if I broke something. Boom, 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 bloop. Cool. I am loving that. Um, I'll leave random rotation for now, but looks good. So onward.